Interesting video proving the fact that the Jesuits, the so-called Society of Jesus, actually would have hated Jesus Christ. Why? Because they hate the Word of God. Unless you think it's just me being a little bit, you know, sarcastic and snarky, I'm going to show you from their own words that they have, they have a, a satanic hatred against the Word of God. And they actually know it condemns them and they admit it. This is from a book, and I'm going to show you from Scripture, by the way, too, why, this, why I call it satanic. Because the Roman Catholic Church is the seed of Satan. And they want to keep you away from the Word of God. I've shown that in my videos on the papal curses against the Holy Scriptures. Satan wants to keep you away from the Word of God. I'll show you the verse on that. But this is from a book called The Secret History of the Jesuits. And he writes down some of the conversations he was having with some of his Jesuit superiors. And watch just the, the, the rage they have against the Word of God. And actually admitting that the Word of God condemns Roman Catholicism. Plain and simple. Hence why they want to keep you away from the Word of God if you're a Catholic. But this is from uh, page 143 from the Secret Plan of the Jesuits, sorry, Secret History of the Jesuits. It says, watch, watch the satanic hatred for the Word of God come out. We shall know how, by marvelous stories and gorgeous shows, to exercise, to, to exercise heresy from the heads and hearts of the multitude, we shall know how to nail their thoughts upon our ears, and they quote some Latin thing there, so they shall make no stir without our good pleasures. Then the Bible, that serpent, which ha which with, sorry, with head erect and eyes flashing fire, threatens us with his venom, with us it trails along the ground, shall be changed again into a rod as soon as we are able to seize it, and that all wounds uh, will we not inflict with it upon these hard see, hardened pharaohs and their cunning magicians. What miracles will we not work by its means? O oh, then, mysterious rod, will we not again suffer thee to escape from our hands and fall to the earth? They hate the word of God, and notice how they want to control it. Well, they've done that through their modern versions. They're admitting it right here. They hate the word of God, calling it a serpent. Society of Jesus, right? Well, you see, their Christ is the Antichrist, not Jesus Christ. This is continuing on. This is page 144 of the book. And, and I do just apologize. I'm not good at reading things on a computer screen. It says, My brethren, as to the Bible, be advised by me for a greater good. Let us avoid, let us carefully avoid, uh, avoid this ground. If I may tell you openly what I think of this book, it shall not be, it shall not all be for us. Sorry, it, it is not at all for us. It is against us. They're referring to the Bible being against their beliefs. I do not at all wonder at the invincible ostensity it, uh, in, in, sorry, it engenders in all those who regard its verses as inspired. You read the word of God, it condemns their beliefs. And they're admitting it, you know. Oh, what a visible ostensity uh, en engenders all those who regard his verses as inspired. Amen. I regard his verses as inspired. That's why I'm not a Roman Catholic. You know, they're basically referring to, you know, the saints, the saints of God who understand the word of God is inspired. And they're admitting it condemns their beliefs. Because you won't read the word of God and find the, the blasphemous Catholic mass where they re sacrificing Jesus Christ. You won't find all these other customs, the, the Mary worship, the idolatry and everything else. That's why they want to keep you away from the Word of God. You know? The Roman Catholic Church hates the Word of God. The Jesuit Order hates the Word of God. See, they, they do serve. They are the society of Jesus. But you see, their Jesus is not the Word is not the Jesus Christ of the Word of God. Their Christ is essentially the spirit of Antichrist. Plain and simple. That's who the Jesuits serve. See, just because they talk about Jesus doesn't mean they're referring to the Jesus Christ of God's Word. See, Muslims talk about Jesus. Hindus talk about Jesus. Buddhists talk about Jesus. You know? But it's not the Christ of God's Word. It's, an anti it's a false Christ, another Jesus. Now, the, vo the Word of God tells us where the satanic hatred for the Bible comes from. Here it is. Luke chapter 8, verse 11 to 12. Now, the parable is this. The seed is the Word of God. Verse 12. Those by the wayside are they that hear, then cometh the devil, and taketh away the Word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. There you go. Hating the Word of God, like the Jesuits are displaying in, that, in those uh, writings there, it proves they're of the devil because the devil hates the word of God and wants to keep you away from it, which is what he's used his Catholic cult. Yes, because yes, Satan did found the Catholic cult. See, he persecuted the believers, but that wasn't working, so he created a counterfeit Christianity to, to deceive the masses. But he wants to keep you away from the word of God, which is what he's used his Catholic church to do, to take you away from the word of God. Hence the papal curses against Bible distribution. Hence why in the early 1900s, some Catholics didn't know the Bible even exists because they were deceived by their priests and their popes. So, further proof showing the satanic nature of the Roman Catholic Church and Satan's Jesuit order. So don't be deceived by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ with all the brethren. Goodbye.